The Singapore Grand Prix is renowned as the first ever night race in Formula 1 and it has been an incredible spectacle since its inception in 2008. The Marina Bay Street Circuit is bathed in a mesmerizing sea of lights, creating a captivating backdrop that sets it apart from other races. The combination of high-speed racing under the glare of artificial lighting and the stunning Singapore skyline as a backdrop makes it a must-watch event for Formula 1 enthusiasts worldwide. In 1961, the Formula Libre race made its debut on the motorsport scene. Originally known as the Orient Year Grand Prix, this inaugural event took place at the Thomson Road Grand Prix circuit, setting the stage for what would later become a pivotal fixture in the world of motor racing. It's worth noting that Formula Libre allowed for a wide range of car types and engines, making it a thrilling and diverse competition. Just five years later, in 1966, this prestigious race underwent a significant transformation, with Singapore gaining its sovereignty as a country in 1965, the event was renamed the Singapore Grand Prix. This change not only reflected the newfound identity of Singapore, but also solidified the race's place on the international motorsport calendar. However, despite its promising start and the change in name, the Singapore Grand Prix faced a series of challenges that ultimately led to its discontinuation after the 1973 race. In 2008, the Singapore Grand Prix underwent a significant transformation with the introduction of a five-year agreement Singapore GPPTE Limited, the Singapore Tourism Board and the Formula One Group under the leadership of Bernie Ecclestone came together to sign a landmark deal. Notably, this was also the year when Singtel, the telecommunications giant, stepped in as the title sponsor of the event. The official name of the race became the Formula One Singtel Singapore Grand Prix. This partnership not only added prestige but also showcased the growing appeal of Formula One in Asia. Behind the scenes, the government of Singapore played a pivotal role in supporting the event. They contributed 60% of the total cost, which amounted to a substantial 90 million Singaporean dollars out of a total tap of 150 million dollars. This commitment demonstrated the government's dedication to making the Singapore Grand Prix a standout fixture on the Formula 1 calendar. The 2008 race marked a historic milestone for Formula 1. It was not only the 15th round of the 2008 FIA Formula 1 World Championship, but also the first ever nighttime event in the sport's history. This innovative move allowed for the race to be broadcast live at a convenient time for TV audiences outside the Asia Pacific region. The Marina Bay Street Service circuit was bathed in brilliant light thanks to a series of projectors that adapted their output to match the shape of the course, creating a truly unique spectacle. On the track, Felipe Massa took pole position in his Ferrari and for much of the race it seemed like he would dominate. However, a mishap during a pit stop which resulted in a broken fuel rig led to his downfall. The race was ultimately won by Fernando Alonso, driving for the Renault team. However, this victory was marked by controversy, as it later emerged that Renault had ordered Nelson Piquet Jr. to crash intentionally, bringing out a safety car to benefit Alonso. This shocking revelation added a layer of intrigue to the race's history. In the following years, the Singapore Grand Prix continued to deliver thrilling races and memorable moments. The circuit underwent slight modifications in 2009 to improve overtaking opportunities, and Lewis Hamilton emerged victorious, sprinting away to win the race. In 2010, Fernando Alonso, now with Ferrari, showcased his prowess by winning the race for the second time. It was also the year when Michael Schumacher made his F1 comeback, but faced challenges in his Mercedes, and Heike Kovalainen's car caught fire during the race, leading to a remarkable moment when he extinguished the flames himself. Sebastian Vettel's dominance continued in 2011 as he secured his 8th win of the season, leading a strong lineup of drivers. Michael Schumacher, on the other hand, struggled as he collided with Sergio Perez. In 2012, a significant announcement was made. Bernie Ecclestone and the Singapore Grand Prix agreed to extend the race's presence on the Formula 1 calendar until 2017. This decision solidified Singapore's position as a premier destination for Formula 1 racing. Lewis Hamilton claimed his fifth pole position of the season in 2012. But it was Sebastian Vettel who inherited the race lead due to Hamilton's gearbox problems. Vettel dedicated his win to Sid Watkins, a respected figure in the 
world of Formula 1 who had recently passed away. The following year saw Sebastian Vettel continuing his dominance in Singapore, with victories in 2013, 2015 and 2019. In 2014, Singapore Airlines joined as a sponsor, adding to the prestige of the event. However, the global COVID-19 pandemic disrupted the racing calendar, leading to the cancellation of both the 2020 and the 2021 editions of the Singapore Grand Prix, due to travel restrictions and safety concerns. In early 2022, exciting news emerged as the contract for the Singapore Grand Prix was extended up to 2028, ensuring that this iconic race will remain a fixture on the Formula 1 calendar for years to come. Looking ahead to the 2023 Singapore Grand Prix this weekend, fans can anticipate significant changes to the circuit layout. Turns 16 to 19 are said to be temporarily removed to facilitate the construction of NS Square. In their place, a new flat-out section will be introduced until turn 16, leading to a decrease in lap times and an increase in the number of laps, from 61 to 63. This change promises to bring even more excitement to the race, making it a must-watch event for motorsport enthusiasts. The Marina Bay Street Circuit, while it has undergone some minor changes over the years, maintains its distinctive character. Character. It stands as a twisty circuit that presents Formula 1 with its lowest race distance above 305 kilometers. This combination of tight turns and the circuit that's often near the city's walls leads to an intriguing dynamic, with frequent safety car deployments that can extend the running time close to the two-hour race limit. The circuit's layout is a true test of the driver's skill and the car's capabilities. It features some 90-degree turns, but the variability of those turns combined with technical sections and rapid direction changes makes it a formidable challenge. While there are opportunities for overtaking, they primarily occur at the end of the first sector, where cars can reach their highest speeds. However, the runoff areas at the end of the long straights are notably shorter than what drivers encounter on traditional circuits, adding an extra layer of complexity. One of the defining characteristics of the Marina Bay Street Circuit is how close the cars run to the walls for most of the track's length. This minimal margin for error is hard mark of street circuits and it adds a level of intensity to the racing that few other tracks can match. Victory on this circuit is not solely dependent on the power of the car, it's heavily influenced by a driver's experience, precision and decision making under extreme pressure. Many Formula 1 drivers have referred to the Singapore Grand Prix as the toughest race of the Formula 1 calendar. And for good reason. The challenges faced here are multi-faced. First, the high heat and humidity push drivers to their physical limits, resulting in significant sweat and body fluid loss. The circuit's 23 corners demand unwavering focus and concentration. Additionally, the lack of runoff areas within a street circuit leaves little room for error, making every decision crucial. Moreover, race finishes at the Singapore Grand Prix often come very close to the allocated two-hour time limit. In fact, some races have been time-limited instead of completing the full allotted laps. This means drivers must manage their energy and performance throughout the race, always pushing the boundaries of their endurance. Looking ahead, the Singapore Grand Prix's future is secure, with a contract extension announced in 2022 that will keep the race on the Formula 1 calendar until at least 2028. This means that the fans can continue to anticipate thrilling races under the dazzling lights of Singapore's skyline for years to come. As we conclude our journey through the history and challenges of the Singapore Grand Prix, we're left with a profound appreciation for this iconic event. From its humble beginnings as the Orient Year Grand Prix to its transformation into the renowned Singapore Grand Prix. This race has stood the test of time. The dazzling lights of the Marina Bay Street Circuit, combined with a stunning Singapore skyline, create an unparalleled spectacle that has captured the hearts of Formula 1 fans worldwide. It's a race that has not only illuminated the city, but also the history of motorsport. Thank you for joining us. Please like if you enjoyed this educational journey and don't forget to press the subscribe button for more motorsport content coming your way. And I'll see you next time.